Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ here with my bro Jeremy. Hey guys, what's going on? Along with Bears. I swallowed a quarter. <laughs> Bringing you another episode recap this week of The Flash. Tonight's episode was called Tricksters, and wow, was it amazing. It really kicked up its momentum from the middle of the whole entire episode to the end. Dude, I actually like the more in-depth flashbacks of yes. like who Wells was and like the reveals. Yes. Was crazy. Oh, yeah, dude, it was amazing. Mark Hamill, man, I love that guy. He's just so amazing. Yeah, With dude. him, we got a Breaking Bad reference and I Am Your Father reference. It was <laughs> That's amazing. True. That was so cool. His son's name was Axel Walker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this whole episode, too, we kind of see Barry kind of like, I like the way he was acting towards Wells, having an attitude and everything, and Wells kind of knowing what's going on, but he threw him off again, or was trying to, but Barry knew he was talking bullcrap. They both know that they're talking bullcrap to each other. Oh, let's let's talk about that fight sequence at the beginning, though. Was that not awesome? Oh, yeah, awesome. dude. They're like throwing each other around and all that. Damn. Dude, that was actually very epic. And then when he took his mask off, I was kind of like, what is going on here? Like, he didn't <laughs> remotely look like him at all. Even a smidge, I thought, but no, nah, there, there wasn't anything there. But then it made sense later on when we see him use this. Do you know what that was other than that it switched their bodies? No, he like absorbed Wells into himself. Ah. It wasn't really like a switcher. He just like sucked oh, that, him out. That, that makes sense because he did <laughs> look like a prune after. So that raises the question that we're talking about earlier before we had this talk. Do you think a little bit of Wells is still there? The actual Wells? That's tough. I want to yeah. say yes. It's hard to tell. I really would like it to be like that because it's just me and my opinion that I think it would be weird for Wells to just be a vessel for Eobard. I would want just a little tiny bit of who he was before to kind of be there to maybe fight him a little bit but I mean he's been in that body for 15 years so. The question I had is where did the other speedster go? We saw what happened to Eobard. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of his powers were drained, but where did the, the Flash go? Oh, the Barry? It wasn't. That's That couldn't have been Barry. That's like centuries in the future, right? It could possibly be Barry. I, I mean, I think it still is because from, from what I understand, speedsters are long lived. But yeah, that, that does raise the question where is he? There's been plenty of stories where they're stuck in the Speed Force, so maybe he's just continuously running. Speed yeah. Force hype! <laughs> <laughs> okay, during that part, can we all agree that Wells was kind of talking a bit creepy? Let the wind brush to your hair. <laughs> Let it gently caress your cheek. Dude, that's just like Mark <laughs> Hamill when he was like, hmm, I smell it in your pocket. Yeah, mm. and then he sniffs the Twizzler. <laughs> <laughs> what was Barry doing with a pocket full of Twizzlers anyway? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. I wonder what Caitlin and uh, Cisco and what their facial expressions were. Just listening to Wells. Oh, to Wells, yeah. Giving those instructions. And they're just like, what is wrong Dude, with you? Dude, you for real? <laughs> like, taking some LSD? <laughs> That was pretty cool, the phasing, though, that we finally see Barry doing it. Yeah, that was pretty dope. I got confused. Didn't he put that bomb in front of a big rig that was attached to, like, a gas thing? Yeah. Because he ran right through it. But it dropped in front of the thing. Oh. Uh -huh. So, I guess the blast was... like a was solid big. object. That the bomb sense. didn't look very big. Yeah. It looked like it was mostly designed, or all the, the electronics in it were designed to make sure he's going at 600 miles per hour. That's true. So, the bomb was probably just big enough to kill a person but not cause any damage, anything else. That makes sense. Because that kind of confused me a little bit. I thought he was going to like explode, explode that, that entire thing. Yeah. We'll talk about the face reveals and then we'll talk about your theory, Jeremy, with the blue shirts. Well, it's just, that's like a little thing, but yeah. Sure. No, it's not a little thing. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll bring it, we'll bring it up after after yeah, this yeah the reveals were awesome i just did not expect the one with eddie to happen i mean at yeah, least this dude, soon uh, what? <laughs> what'd you guys think about that like the fir first one with the dad i was just like what i jumped out of my yeah. bed yeah and then he the second knew. one he yeah he, he knew knew. but it was yeah, it was, was nice to see him like saved him like just He's like, like oh, see his son on. pull off the thing and it's like, ah, oh, he's such a badass. <laughs> my son is a badass. Like it was like those types of moments. Yeah. I liked it. And then this, the second one with Eddie is like, oh my God, I just sh shit my pants. It's like, where, where could that head? Look like Eddie did too. Yeah. <laughs> he just, he, was, he just couldn't comprehend. One plus one is fish. What? I don't even. <laughs> And let's talk about, uh, what's her name? She was, like, about a foot away from him, and she didn't even... I guess there <laughs> was a, res your there's a respect there. Just, like, staring at him. Yeah. Can't 
figure out that that's Barry. That's another thing. This episode, his like voice vibration device or whatever the hell he does, yeah, was yeah. pretty mild. I could tell that was Barry from his voice. Yeah, she's known him for all of his life. How could she not tell? And she could tell he had a heavy heart by his three words she he said prior. How could she not <sighs> tell it was him? I don't know, man. I think she turns the stupid on sometimes. Because I, I don't story. Know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we have to talk about this because Jeremy brought up a big. I mean, he's already. Already brought really this big, up but it might turn into something big jeremy's this already mentioned this before but tonight kind of made me realize going back and watching the episodes again that maybe his cobalt blue theory is right yeah because like in almost every scene like i think there's probably like one or two scenes where he's not wearing it but in almost every scene each well, at least one part of his clothing is blue which sort of hints to him being cobalt blue like it's a small hint but it's it's a possibility and now uh, referring to wells no no no, no. Uh, eddie eddie, 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 thought. eddie this is what makes sense too is this that is like, like sorry sorry but like it's either his jacket his polo or his tie uh, tie and the thing is in in the comics malcolm obviously we already talked about the fact that he's he's uh barry's twin brother but he gets jealous of barry so he tries to be like him. And that would make sense if and something... Now that, yeah, now that he knows... And then once Barry gets the girl, he'll have a motive to do that. And then that that's what sparks the Thawn slash mm -hmm. Alan feud. Because we saw we saw what Eo, like the actual Eobar looked like. He who's blonde. Blonde, yeah. Yeah. So, I called it, by the way. I, I, like, I was yelling on my TV, I called that! <laughs> <laughs> I, I got your text like right away. And I was just like, what the <laughs> hell? is going on <laughs> <laughs> two different uh, reverse flashes well technically two different dude so yeah. uh, do you think we might see hunter at one point <laughs> like once wally comes in because it's obviously that's gonna happen eventually probably now that they they showed us that's where wells came from that he is he was once just a person that was that was a good guy that, that had a wife or were they married yet not yet uh he said wife so yeah okay yeah that they're together and and that he was gonna start out star labs well he he successfully made the particle accelerator from what what's his name said eobard mm -hmm. in the future so yeah he's prominent in that area actually he kind of messed the timeline as well he said he doesn't build it for another 20 years 20 years yeah but he's like i need to have it quicker 15 years after that there's 14, 14, 15, 15 yeah. Right. The particle accelerator explosion happens. So you already messed with the timeline by five years. I'm just hoping that Wells is still down there somewhere and that he becomes an ally to Barry and they somehow separate. But I, I don't know. Maybe maybe he just is destined to be the vessel for Eobard Thawne. I don't, I don't see how what it could, is. I don't see how he could revert his face back to how he looked. <laughs> so a uh, quantum splicing device. Yeah, you mean Eobard? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jeremy. Jeremy said something about that earlier too. That's he that's got he got the technology. Oh wow! With that, that that's mine. Like, my mind just exploded. In the, seriously, it's my in the um comics, like he like sort of impersonates Barry, mm -hmm. so he probably will use. So that you in the think future. that's why he had that splicer so that he could? What do you call that? Like eventually, once he was able to get enough power from Barry, he he would have basically become Barry, them. but like. Yeah. No, 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 he would have split himself so he would be back to how he looked before? Is that what you're saying? No, no, I think because he has, like, an obsession with Barry. Well, let's be real here. You you, you have to take over an identity for a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. your, your goal is you're trying to get back to your time. Yeah. Now, why would you want to go back to your time with somebody else's face? I love my face. I'm pretty as hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but, like, don't you want to be known as, like the flash well that's the oh, thing you know, like you come Daddy back to Jr. that that timeline and you're like hey guys i'm back because he's like supposedly missing mm -hmm. watch him no, be no, like oh i'm back timeline. guys that's only like 20 years in the future he's missing it's two different times eobard from centuries ahead what is going to happen i wonder <laughs> I, I felt the trickster as much as he got he is kind of underplayed for this this episode i expected more from him than strapping a bomb to barry so he had to pull a speed maneuver. Yeah. Great Keanu reference, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's speed. <laughs> uh, no, I think we'll see more of him. I hope so. That guy's way too smart for 
you know for that obviously he's got his son too it's gonna he's he's gonna come back dude the, the i'm pretty sure the reactions of everybody were very positive for his character being on there he'll definitely get written back in some at some point well the rogues are gonna come back all of them i'm yeah. assuming yeah yeah so. the uh, the all-star team up and then there's a couple and he's more. part of the rogues so yeah we'll probably see him in the future i think that's might might have been what it was it was more like a passing of the torch kind of thing yeah yeah so do you think so we won't see mark hamill again oh. but we're definitely gonna see axel walker but what if what if we do see both of them again that would be insane oh i would love to see mark hamill again that dude's amazing i like the little laugh he did <laughs> that was amazing i'm pretty sure he did joker for the arkham asylum arkham city and all that yeah i, I think so yeah it's amazing so going into the next episodes bears if you had not seen that preview we see arrow uh adam pretty much yeah that that whole entire team coming over to central city and it looks like they're gonna face the reverse flash together also like i told jeremy i saw a guy that looked like voldemort so i don't know what that has to do with anything but <laughs> well like this whole th this whole first season was like led up to the rogues right yeah. and i keep mentioning this and 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 the another person identity of wells yeah another person who's like a main i guess mm -hmm. in the rogues is mirror master oh so we're gonna see is that hit was that That's the last guy mirror master he, he looked, looked like voldemort weird. yeah he looked really weird all right so here's what's gonna happen <laughs> Barry's gonna find out the wells is eobard or he's the reverse flash he's yeah, gonna confront yeah. him anyway mm -hmm. They're gonna get into an epic fight. Barry, unfortunately, is not ready to take on Reverse Flash. He gets his ass kicked. Yeah. Yeah. And then all we hear out of the background is, and it's Ray comes in out of nowhere. Palmer just flies in in his mech suit, drops in. Arrow comes in. He's flying in his cables. He's just swinging in like Batman. He's shooting arrows. I don't know how he's just dangling and shooting arrows. He's doing it. And then we got uh, Hagrid. He comes in the corner and just looks at Barry and just says, "You're a speedster, Barry." And then he walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's that's pretty spot on. I think that's probably <laughs> the best prediction to date. This show just gets like better. Like usually they'll run out of uh, ideas, I guess. But this was awesome because it's setting stuff up for the finale oh and also grod is in oh the yeah grod i dude i forgot about grod eiling was there yes yeah. eiling was back he didn't kill him i think grod did experiments on him i think he's coming back as that disgusting looking uh meta human thingy at the end of this it's basically gonna be like small part of the justice league versus the rogues led by eobard and grod and grod yeah if grod ever Secret comes society of super villains Ding 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 ding! ding. <laughs> <laughs> they did it, dude. Dude. So, what do you guys give this um this episode? What do you give it as a rating? Mark Hamill out of ten. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'd say I was about to give it a twelve out of ten because the last good episode was an eleven, but I'd stick with eleven out of ten. That's still pretty high up there. <laughs> I'll give it a twelve out of ten. I thought it was amazing. Because, yeah. I mean, it, it definitely well, exceeded actually, what yeah. I thought was going to come out of it. Uh, uh, Solid all-around episode. Script. I loved it. I like yeah. it. I loved it, too. Don't forget to subscribe to <laughs> all the things <laughs> down at the bottom. Click the buttons to say subscribe. Do it. It's fun. Don't yeah. forget to like the video if you liked it. Of course you did. You like the shows. We like the shows. Join us in the discussion down below in the comments. We'll see you next time. Bye! 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 Bye. Bye.